Hello again. Fourth attempt. I'm in the half moon, Stepney, just underneath, underneath the ladies and uh, disabled sign, back of the house. And I'm trying to put my best Geordie accent on, because I'm just about to recite uh, a bit of um, reminiscing about Newcastle. So that's where I am, it's a beautiful pub, Weatherspoons, I come here quite a lot, and uh, you wouldn't go far wrong for giving it a visit, man. Anyway, this poem, it's got very busy in here, I should have done this two hours ago, but I forgot. Just after Durham, me, first, me fourth attempt, just after Durham. Always dark when I returned to the fold, having been wherever I'd been, with never a homecoming welcome, ne banner, banners or balloons, never a party, more expressions of shock, surprise, bewilderment, as I never once thought a wire ahead, I had me reasons, not least, that could change me mind. Newcastle was always there though, guaranteed to be waiting just for me, with its stoic silhouette forming a magnificent backdrop that screamed a heartwarming welcome so warmly, I remember it to this day. After Durham, my eyes were always averted to the window, anxious for me first glimpse of what had always been me home. And with Scotswood lit up, the river would glisten as it rippled slowly under the moonlit sky. Who needs balloons and a party when me city displays such a glorious banner? The bridge would be next, its metal girders blackened by the dimness of the night, just as de depicted on the blue star of a bottle of Mutie Brew the sight of which fair made me hot stop a few times in what I now regard as me early years. It's been a long time. It's been a long while since me last visit. Maybe I shall never pass that way again. Not because I'm not proud of me heritage. It's just I'm no longer homesick. Too many bad memories and broken promises. The pigeon ducats, the keyside market, the whippets and Whitley Beard day trips, though all inspiring, no longer quite enough to be a magnet for this now, posh southerner, with queer accent to merit the long journey home. And I'm telling you now, trying to put my accent back on, with the way people have been going past me, that was so hard. But I'm hoping it's going to come out okay. Because it's meant to be real. It's meant to be proper, like, you know what I mean. I come from the north and I tell it how it is. Joey Joe McGuire.